we got a new toy and this little thing is a ripper it's a 1 16th scale and uh it is fast it's a three cell brushless it's wild for sure it's definitely wild <laughs> Next spot, we're out here at uh, Richard's, downtown Sacramento. A little bash session going this morning. But I wanted to kind of talk about this little thing, the Besger 3-cell brushless. And I, unfortunately, I don't remember all the specs on it, but this thing is nuts. It's actually it's wild. No joke. Go over some of it real quick. But uh, it's got aluminum cap shocks. They are oil-filled. It's got very good suspension rebound rate on it. I don't know the uh, weight of the oil that's in there, but just for an RC this size to be built like it is, is impressive. It is a 45 amp ESC three cell brushless and it has a fan on it. it comes out of the box with a little fan, Dean's plug. I'll slap the battery in it in a second. Metal drive shafts, metal adjustable links, molded, it's got the little hexagon chassis on it. And uh, this thing is, is an absolute ripper. It is built just like the big ones. It also has the light in it, which I didn't realize that until the second or third time. This will be the fourth time I've played with this thing. Um, total run time is about two battery packs on it. So, you know, half an hour, but uh, this is the first time I'm actually gonna sit here and talk about it. I wanna get it up close detail, show you guys everything about it. I forget the motor, uh, the brushless motor specs. I'll put that in when I'm editing. I think it's 2200, maybe 2250. Bulkheads. I mean, it's built just like a bigger one, you know? And it's almost just as fast. As I've played with this thing about four times and I have uh, definitely crashed it a couple times and it keeps running i mean i slid it upside down on the concrete for a solid 50 feet body did take some damage i uh, actually messaged them and they said that they will have new bodies available for it soon this is brand new this is their newest model that just came out i'm probably one of the first people to get it this is the three cell battery that it comes with it hard case it comes with a usb charger plugs in pretty handy it does come ready to run all right see if we can land this thing yes perfect All right, so far I rate this thing nine out of 10. It is fun for the price, you can't beat it. It is repairable. If you break something, you can always buy more parts, which to me, that's what separates hobby grade from toy grade. Uh, room for improvement. I will say that I would like to see mounted body clips on it. Um, when this thing, it, you know, it crashes, it's fast. It's, it's very fast for its size, so it will tumble. And I've already ejected probably six body clips off of it, so. That'd be my only room for improvement or just right out of the box, just run larger clips on it, which is I'm about, what I'm about to do. So we'll see how that holds up. All right, we got some big air going down over here. Let's, uh, let's send the little Besger. <laughs> I had a solid backflip going for a second and then I tapped the brakes too soon. Let's try that again. We landed just fine on that one. All right, here we go, full speed rip. 
<laughs> I hit it a little bit sideways there. All right, we're gonna let him go. We're about to get a full speed rip on this guy. We landed it. She's still taking it, still taking it, guys. I am landing on the wheels back there if you can't see, but let's hit it again. Yeah, <laughs> double backflips. Jumping probably 30, 40 feet. Let's inspect it. Oh, geez. Hey, she's still running true. Nothing at all is messed up besides the body a little bit. But like I said, the body is definitely my fault for not putting the wheelie bars on and doing long skids on concrete. But otherwise, I'm not seeing any damage from this thing and we've done some hard hits. Something else I wanted to mention is uh, right here on the controller, you have an on off switch for the light. That is too freaking cool. Yeah. All right, let's do a full speed run on this thing real quick. Show you guys. She moving. The brakes are so touchy that if you hit it going fast, it'll do a front flip. We found a mini jump for the mini RC. Oh, that was good. Responded well in the air to the brake. Now keep in mind, I've got less than half an hour experience running with this thing and I'm used to one fifth scales. This is the exact opposite at 116. It is way more responsive. Uh, it's definitely a lot more sensitive with gas and brake, especially in the air. You know, I'll get used to it the more I play with it, but for now, we're definitely taking some hard hits and tumbles and it keeps rocking, so no complaints. Well, she made it to another video. You guys are gonna see more of this. As far as durability, yes, yes, for sure. Uh, only complaint is body clips, so easy, easy solution to that.